Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How To Do, and in this video, we will be learning how to use the realistic car controller in your game. And yeah, you will be able to download realistic car controller for free. So yeah, uh, if you want to learn that, go ahead and watch this video uh, till the end. So this is what we made in the previous videos. We were making GTA in Unity for Android, and this is what we made. And we can take out the gun. We can also shoot around, like, and we can aim, and we can shoot that AI standing over there, and we can shoot him, and he reacts to that. And of course, the bullet speed is really slow because I was testing something, and and I'm gonna shoot him sometimes. And he has some health because uh, if we shoot him sometimes, then after that he will die. And all that and we can put the gun back and we also have the jet over there and we can also get inside the car using the animations and yeah all that get inside the car and get out of the car and all that uh, so if you want to learn all of this then you should watch my previous videos the link to that is in the description box below and yeah the the guy is sitting inside and we can also get out of the car using the animations and yeah all that so yeah if you want to learn that go ahead and click the link in the description box below but in this video we will be learning how to change the standard assets car which is this one i changed it into lamborghini and if you want to learn that go ahead and click the link in the description box below i have made a whole tutorial uh, series on how to do all of this stuff and the playlist is in the description box below so how to change the standard assets car into a really really cool uh, realistic car controller all right so uh, yeah the first thing what you need to do is you need to click the link in the description box below and see how to download unity paid assets for free and let me just quickly show you guys how it uh, looks like this is the one unity paid assets for free watch this video first uh, the link to that is in the description box below and in that video I told you guys how to download unity uh, realistic car controller uh, paid asset and here we go I have already downloaded that and it is version 3.2 b2 uh, so in the video I told you guys where to find it and how to do that it's really simple so just double click that after downloading that and then it will decompose all right uh, decompress sorry <laughs> It will decompress and then you have to import it so I will pause the video I guess because it will waste a lot of time mm, just a second okay so it's taking some time so I think I will pause the video for now alright so after some time this kind of a thing pops out and it says you have to import all of this so click all so that you import everything and then just say uh, import all right and it will of course take some time so i'm gonna pause the video again all right there we go realistic car controller is now imported inside of our uh, package our, our project folder and there we go realistic car controller version 3 so this is the folder and when we go in there there are lots of folders inside there uh, let me just go demo scene the second one and let's just go to find the mobile thing because we are using the android all right we're making the android game so uh, there is something rcc blank mobile ui and there is also a rcc city mobile all right so i'm gonna uh, select the second one uh, second last one and when i open it up you can see there are some controls and all these things so let me just play and see what's happening inside over here all right there we go as you can see this is our uh, game and it's not on mobile just mute the audio because I think it will be really loud uh, I'm not hearing it right now because I'm not wearing the earphones but as you can see it is really cool right um, but right now if I go to file build settings as you can see we are on Android not on PC Mac and Linux standalone uh, so we should be able to uh, you know work Oh, 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 look at that. There is a, an AI who is following us right now. And as you can see, this is really, really, really cool thing. And you should have it. And if you can't afford it, then you should download it uh, uh, Download it uh, for uh, from the asset store by buying. You should buy it. But if you can't afford it, then you should uh, download it for free. The link to that is in the description box below. Uh, but yeah. All right. So why isn't it? Uh, oh, look at that. 
we have a damage system look at that the car is damaged you know the dents and all that stuff really really cool all right so why aren't we able to uh, use these guys all right they are over here right we, the accelerator brake the uh, left and right and nos and all that hand handbrake and stuff why aren't we able to use that well the thing is that we have to set it up and it's really easy you have to just go ahead and go to search and go to settings and there will be RCC settings over here as you can see and then what you have to do is you have to change main controller type from keyboard to mobile all right or you can go to custom and set some things up but I'm gonna go and set it to mobile and now when we play the game you should be able to uh, use these guys as you can see now we cannot use keyboard we can use these guys and as you can see it is really really cool and if I enable the audio it will be really loud of course but yeah the audio is there and yeah all that stuff so and we also have a handbrake over here as you can see and we also have a NOS thing let me just check it out if it's working or not maybe it won't work right now but yeah we can check it so there we go we're going and NOS no well uh, uh, yeah something something will become and we can also record oh <laughs> okay this is the AI whoa the AI is really cool I love it and as you can see there's a camera uh, camera collision so when we go back um, and now we come forward the camera collides with the wall alright so all that stuff is really really cool now how do we use it in our game well it will be really simple we don't have to do much let's come back to the assets and go to test which is the uh, which is what we made in the previous videos and let me just come in here get inside over here so this is uh, the car which we made okay let's go to a realistic car controller and we should go to where prefabs and vehicles all right vehicles enter that and there we go we have lots of uh, vehicles in here and as you can see one of them is this one and I love this one like this one was the police one right uh, so I'm gonna drag it out there we go and right now it's not set up properly so let me just quickly set it up uh, right from here bring it up a bit there we go now if you play the game you will not be able to control it why because there is no UI to control it uh, there we go it's, it's it's working right but we cannot control it because there is no UI to control it um, yeah so we have to set the UI first uh, UI means you know uh, user interface uh, and the one which we used in the previous video is the car tilt controls which are these guys all right this and that and you can tilt your uh, car to you know uh, tilt your Android device to tr you rotate the car uh, so in order to set up the UI what we need to do is we need to first disable okay uh, first we have to come back and go to UI uh, prefabs and there as you can see there are different UIs in here so one we need is this one I guess RCC canvas drag it out into your uh, thing and there you can see there are loads of things in here and let me just f disable the ones which we have uh, this one and this one disable them so do, we don't have to see our UIs only the RCC canvas all right now we uh, uh, well I don't like these guys here popping out over here uh, but let me just quickly see if it's working or not if it is then that is really cool well, well it should work uh, let me just go ahead and come in here and play the game and see if the UI is working or not well we can control the car or not there we go we can move it up uh, and there we go cool awesome <laughs> okay um, so uh, the thing is that I don't like these two guys popping out over here like the speedometer if you want you can still uh, let it be there but I don't like it so I'm gonna delete them so how you delete that uh, is they are inside the dashboard or over here all right so what we have in the dashboard is in the this guy all right and then there is this guy and the start engine and stop engine and uh, these play buttons uh, but we don't need these play buttons so I'm gonna just completely remove the dashboard so delete the dashboard and continue there we go now we uh, I don't like this guy popping out over here so I'm gonna uh, see where he is uh, information label I don't need that so info we don't need this one also because this is for you know beginners to you how you use it 
Um, okay. Alright, so now if you play the game, you will see that there are these two guys over here and also these this options over here. So if we go to customize menu, we don't actually need it. Um, but I will leave it over here because we can do different kind of a things. But actually, we don't need it actually. But yeah. Uh, but uh, the options menu is a little important because we can change the controls in here we go to options and uh, UI buttons to we can uh, change it to accelerometer uh, which means we can uh, use the you know sensors and we can tilt the Android device to you know control the uh, rotation of the car and there is also a steering wheel which I really love so you can control you can see the uh, the wheels are turning around with the steering wheel so that is really cool and of course we can move it forward and backward and look at that suspension is really cool and also we can add the gear so reverse uh, that one and also to parking and all that so that is really really cool so now we cannot reverse by holding this one we have to come in here go to reverse and yeah so this one is a little important so I'm not gonna delete that but we don't need to do that like spawn different cars like bus spawn so there's a bus now uh, and we can uh, do things like that but we don't need that right um, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and customize this by myself but before we do that um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this record play button this one I'm gonna delete that so this is the fixed joystick and steering wheel and gears gear up gear down we don't need to delete them because if we change the controls we will be not be able to use that alright uh, these are good and control buttons are good dashboard color picker we don't actually need that so I'm gonna delete that one also customization panel well um, uh, but I don't think so we will be needing that so I'm gonna also delete that one but if you want to use you know you, know, you can customize your things from there like if I play the game you can see you can customize the wheel like the front camera uh, rear camera we don't actually have that so front suspension and rear suspension well we can uh, uh, you know use that one all right changing wheels you know we are changing the wheels over there so yeah so different uh, type of things that can be you know <laughs> look at that suspension things are you know we can set them over here all right uh, and we can also select the colors smoke preview smoke and all that you can you know you know there's a smoke over there and all that we can set, set all of that all right and as you can see now we have a some kind of a blue smoke I guess <laughs> yeah look at that all right so we can also reset it I guess there we go now there's no blue smoke over here so actually I don't need it but if you want you can still uh, let it be there and yeah uh, so where is it top button so they are in top buttons and this is the option button I'm gonna leave it to there and you can also set the customization panel but I'm gonna just go ahead and do that because I don't need to use it now uh, it looks pretty stupid over there like on the top because you know uh, there's no game with that kind of a button over there on top so uh, we have to do something at least right okay so I'm gonna set it up somewhere over here or yeah somewhere and anywhere uh, let's just put it over there and instead of instead of this kind of a you know uh, this kind of a thing we can use something else like use this kind of a knob instead of that or we can also use this thing let's use let's use this one no it looks stupid so I'm gonna use something else well you can change it to anything I'm gonna change it to this kind of a knob thing and in, there will be no text inside of it so just a knob all right and it will be somewhere over here which says that this is you know the uh, options options menu or configuration menu all right just put it over there uh, somewhere over here there we go so now this is the options menu and you can change it to anything like I have no time so I'm not gonna use that but you can when you click that you will be able to find these and I am gonna go ahead and delete this one because we don't want to uh, you know change the steering wheel uh, ch change this guy and we don't want to change this guy also because uh, 
because we don't want you know racing in in our game and arcade drift and all that we don't need that so i'm gonna delete this one and this one and yeah these guys are important because you know abs ecs tcs SS, sh and all that stuff so that is important uh, restart we don't need that and uh, close yeah and quit this will quit the whole game so yeah let's see what we have to do with this one so what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna enable this options panel so I'm gonna enable that so it's over here and then we're gonna see what we need and what we don't so well I think I will not be using this one nor this dashboard color picker uh, what is this? we don't need that one also so delete that yeah we need these guys and behavior type we don't need the behavior type controller type we need that one control C quit set select um, no and then the spawn thing no credit of course not <laughs> and labels I don't think so we will be using this one and then driving assistance yeah where is this guy okay scar selection right okay so with that done let's change some things so bring this one over here and then uh, these guys plus this label plus ch bring these guys up also the controller type and bring them up and I'm gonna bring the controller type in the center just like that and then we can make this kind of a pause menu like we can select the restart and pull it all over here and then close will be over here and then quit will be over here all right so this is some kind of a pause menu you can say and gear toggle we will bring the gear toggle let, let's put it somewhere over here so that we can see it all right so there we go this is the pause menu so we can just click that and this is the pause button all right and we can change the pause button let me just quickly do that so optimization controller buttons uh, no where is it um, options panel disable that and then where's the pause button two buttons this one all right so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go ahead and do that so disable the image or remove this component because we don't need to do that and go to image UI image and make this one and bring this guy a little smaller and could duplicate that and bring it over here so now it looks something like a pause menu right bring it a little in here so there we go this is the pause button and then when we press this button we are going to pause right okay so that is that that is pretty cool all right so when we press that uh, which we are not able to okay we also have to change the uh, change the graphic to this one all right there we go uh, make sure you because when we deleted that of course it changed but uh, yeah okay now if you play the game you will able to see the pause menu when we click the pause button there we go and there it is the pause menu we can restart the game we can close this pause menu and we can quit the game we cannot quit it right now but when we are inside a uh, you know the actual physical device then when we uh, then we can quit it but yeah otherwise it's working and the thing I like the most is that when you change something like if I disable this one disable these two and set it to accelerometer and uh, say close and when I get out and play the game again the say uh, the changes will be saved all right so as you can see these two uh, uh, as you can see the accelerometer is still there and we can enable disable and everything and all that so cool but one thing that is not right is that when we restart the game you can see this kind of a bad thing comes out right we can uh, see that it's kind of a dark thing why is that because the lighting is not set so go to lighting if you don't see it over here go to windows lighting settings and as you can see it's set to auto generate so instead of auto generate say generate lighting and it's gonna take some time and when you do that uh, uh, everything will be fixed alright so when you restart the game that will not happen okay so now if you play the game go to the pause menu 
and restart as you can see everything is good all right so as you can see uh, everything is set up now so only thing we need to do now is uh, to you know just to do the same thing all right uh, as you can see we can now control the car uh, and we can go to pause and set it to something like steering wheel and we can uh, close that and come back uh, come back with this button we're coming back and then of course we can use the steering wheel to you know turn the car and bam there we go cool so uh, we can control the car using uh, all of these and uh, the only thing now we need to do is we need to do the same thing that we did in this guy uh, in this car as you can see we have this trigger so we can get inside and then we have to do the same thing uh, just to just change the uh, canvas from this car tilt controls to this RCC canvas that's that that's it all right and yeah of course you need to do the uh, door animation and you can make that again inside of this I guess they have that uh, I don't think so no so they do not have the door so but of course you can change the door from uh, you can change the car mesh from this to that of course you can do the same thing you know everything is now same like this is the standard assets car just it's just better all right it's way better than that so only thing you need to do is you need to just get inside and take this uh, this trigger which we made in the previous videos this trigger and uh, bring him over there and change the fsm to you know just just change it accordingly all right so if you haven't seen the previous videos then go ahead and make sure you see them otherwise you won't be able to make it same as that but yeah that is that that is it uh, our car is working and uh, you know we can change it and now we also have a pause menu in which we can you know restart the game uh, oops I did that right of oh, accidentally I just deleted that uh, but you won't get that you know I accidentally set it back to the auto generate but yeah uh, you won't get that because you accidentally didn't did that <laughs> but otherwise we learned how to restart we can close this guy and we can also quit the whole game using this of course we cannot do that because we are in Windows um, but we can do all of this and you know driving it is assistance and you know accelerometer and then we have UI buttons and we can control the car pretty much and that is pretty cool and yeah that is that for today's video hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do and if you haven't seen my previous videos make sure you do that look at that particle system whoa that is so cool did you saw that particle system uh, it will there we go oh that is so satisfying okay so if you haven't seen my previous videos make sure you do that and bam uh, that is that if you want to support me you can do that by donating me some money through PayPal the link will be in the description box below and if you want to you know learn something else make sure you oh, oh, oh look at the dent uh, make sure you comment below and I think it will be uh, this will be the last video on how to make GTA in Android and I think that is the last one so yeah bye <laughs> and then I will uh, make new tutorials like new subject alright and yeah that is that I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you in my next video uh, and if you are getting any problem like building the game because you know it it has some problem like you have to download SDK like if you want to build it you will get some kind of an error if you don't have the SDK like uh, edit preferences project setting external tool there we go we have an SDK and we have a JDK so if you want to learn how to do this I have also a tutorial on how to do this um, uh, the link will be also in the description box below you so make sure you see that and that is that hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video till then be cool